Yo, we're all good when everything's going well. We have a good attitude, we're positive, but how do we react when stuff just go wrong? When someone pisses you off, when someone says something that's just gonna rub you wrong, what do you do? Keep it locked right here in the AO because I'm gonna tell you how I deal with it. Yo, so recently, you know, one of my homeboys and I got into a huge argument. I mean, it was it was bad. We really disagreed upon something that was political, and I won't go to what that particular situation was, um, but I really had to step back and ask myself, like, bro, this is your boy. And that actually was a good, healthy argument. You see, one thing that I learned from this argument is that there's nothing wrong with a healthy argument. There's only something wrong with the argument that is unhealthy. Why do I say that? Because I really got to understand and know my brother's side of things. And I see people argue all the time. We'll get biased and we think, oh, I'm right, you're wrong. I'm right, you're wrong. I'm right, you're wrong. And really, no one's really wrong. Everyone has the right to their opinion. People have the right to their prerogative. It's, it's whatever they think, whatever they want. That's their right. That's their reality. That's their truth. What we have to do is to step back and be like, yo, Okay, you disagree, I disagree. Let's talk about this. Because here's the truth. We're not always gonna be right, you guys. And we're not always gonna be wrong. One thing that I'm praying about when I enter into a relationship with my wife is that, you know, we can have healthy disagreements. I believe that the breeding ground for understanding is communication. Sometimes communication in the very beginning, we're not gonna be on the same page. But if we can have a disagreement in the beginning, we'll have an agreement in the end because we got on the same page in the very beginning. You wanna win an argument every time? Here's the very first thing, be willing to lose. Because what I don't want you to do is be so focused on winning this argument then you lose this good relationship that you're in. You win this argument and you lose um, this great friend of yours. You win this argument and you lose this job. You lose. I don't want you to lose at the sake of being right. Sometimes being peaceful is better than being right. Number two, if you wanna win, maybe step back and learn the other person's love language. And when I say love language, I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about how they communicate, how they process information. Just step back and just see, okay, wait, how do I communicate my point across? And here's the last thing. You don't have to prove yourself. There's nothing wrong with just saying, you know what? You're right. Sometimes stepping back is the best thing to do because you actually step forward. So number one, be willing to lose. Number two, learn their language. Learn how to communicate to them. Number three, be willing to step back. This is very important. We can all get along. I don't know who I'm talking to over here, but we can all get along when we good, but can we all get along when we disagree? That's a good question. Yo, when is the last time you got into an argument with somebody? What did you do? Did you cuss them out? I hope you didn't. Did you walk out on them? Did you, what did you do? I want you to let me know below. And also, when you let me know what you did below, there's an argument that wasn't ended peacefully or correctly, I'm gonna challenge you to go back and look at yourself. See if it's something that you could have done better. And if it is, I want you to go back and I want you to apologize to that person. And I want you to try and make things right with that individual. Yo, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. Don't worry about winning an argument today. Go lose one. Peace out.